hey everyone welcome back to my channel uh, right now I'm going to uh, explain a very important thing about uh, drawing the network in EPANET so let us start with EPANET uh, this lecture is focusing on the IDs or labels that we give to the junctions or nodes uh, suppose if I have to draw a network uh, for two different areas suppose this is area A okay and this is area B so these are two very big areas or two different zones of a city and now I have to draw the network uh, for these two areas um, in this regard I should have very uh, clear picture about the labels suppose if I uh, start drawing the labels randomly it will be named as 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever uh, so this will not be a good um, choice when you are drawing a network for a very large area which has hundreds and thousands of nodes so what we'll do we'll change the defaults we'll change the defaults of this network of, of these areas suppose this is area A and junction J okay so now whatever nodes I will be drawing here near or in the area A so it will get nomenclature as J1, J2, J3, J4, J5 and J6 suppose now if I have to draw the nodes for this area named area B so if I change the defaults directly to B J so and I draw the network nodes so you will see this won't give me the node number as B J1 it is giving me in continuation of J6, J7, J8 so this is a problem when you solve the network or when you draw the network for a very large area so what you have to do you have to make some changes suppose if I want the node number to be bj1 bj2 bj3 likewise so first you have to save this network and again restart it suppose if i save it as temp file temp network which is a desktop yes again if i start it and now if I change the defaults dash G and now if I draw the nodes you will see that BJ1, BJ2, BJ3 likewise again if you have to uh, you have one more area here area C and you have to draw the network, draw the nodes and give the nomenclature as CJ1, CJ2. You have to save this file. You have to close the panet. I have to again open it. And suppose if you have to, yes, see here and then you start drawing your nodes cj1 cj2 if i don't uh, do this thing uh, you know what the problem is if i directly change the defaults like if i directly change the defaults to d if i have one more area say uh, now i have 10 nodes in j10 so it will be in continuation for the next area if I don't save it and close it and then again open the file so for area D if I draw the network 
without saving and closing the file and again restarting it will give me j11 j12 j13 so you have to save the file in between drawing the nodes of two areas in order to separate them in terms as i have explained right now so this is very important when you draw the networks for a very large area so hope you got my point this time thank you